What's up everybody? Today I'm going to be throwing this Spro Rat. I've heard a lot of good things about it. I've only thrown it a few times and I haven't caught anything on it yet. So I'm going to fish it pretty heavily today. There's a lot of different retrieves you can do with this. This is a wake, st wake bait style bait. So it's not going to go very far underneath the surface. But you can also slow roll it to where it'll just it'll just work itself along the surface of the water. You just ride underneath the surface, making that wake. But I'll tell you this, it does have some pretty enticing action. That whale's or that tail's wobbling back and forth like you would not believe. So today I'm hoping I can catch at least something for you guys on this pro rat. There we go. There's the first one. Not bad. <laughs> oh, still, buddy. Hey, hey, hey. Nice little chunker. Heck yeah. Alright, that was my first fish on the Spro Rat. Well, now at least I know it works. <laughs> Sweet. That's a good one. Whoop. Quick release. <sighs> that almost looks like the same fish. <laughs> cool. Back in there, buddy.
There we go. That was a good one. We just barely hit it too. Oh, quick release. <laughs> that one looked like it was a little bit bigger. Sweet. <clears throat> Man, that's the thing about trying out new baits. You see people on TV catching them. You see other YouTubers catching them on a certain bait. And you may think it's just marketing or, you know, they, they hook the fish on the lure and then toss it back out there and then, and then start filming and act like they're reeling it in. So, uh, you know, question everything. Check it out for yourself. You know, there's no harm in, in buying something and trying it out because every new lure that comes out on the market right now is the new best thing. So, you just got to try it out for yourself. I was a little skeptical about the rat. I'm not going to lie. I've seen a lot of people catch it on it, but catch fish with it. But you never know. You never know until you go out there and fish it yourself. Try new things. Hook up with Mystery Tackle Box. You know, they're, that's, that's exactly what they do is send you different baits that you may never have tried before. Some maybe you have. But it's a pretty sweet deal that they do for you. Helps you better, helps you be, become a better angler. Helps you become more versatile. And that's what we like. A lot of guys out there will get stuck in a rut throwing the same thing over and over and over because that's what they're confident in. That's what they like to throw. That's They know they can catch fish with it. Sometimes that bait doesn't work. Sometimes you got to throw something else. Oh, there it is. Ooh, feisty one. Come on up here, buddy. All right. You know what? I have caught this fish before. I myself have caught this fish before. <laughs> How cool that is. Come on, buddy. Let go of it. There we go. The reason I know that is because of that gill plate right there. He's been smashed up pretty good before by something. Looks like he's pretty much blind in that eye too. Poor guy. At least he's still kicking. I just caught him again, so he's still out there eating. Oh, there you go, buddy. That's the cool thing about catch and release. You may catch the same fish you've caught before. And there ain't nothing wrong with that. Because it's all about catching the fish. And there's a big old carp right there kicking up all kinds of mud. Ooh, man. That thing's got to be at least a good 10, 10, 12, 13 pounds. But, like I said, if you're skeptical like me, you don't really buy into the hype too much, research it. If you feel the need, go ahead and go buy it. Try it out for yourself. Especially with these dog days of summers coming up. you got to be more versatile. you got to be able to throw different things. That's why, I was, that's why I've been trying out that Zoom old monster. Because I have heard that that thing is just the best thing to throw in the summertime. Drag it along the bottom, do what you need to do with it. So that's why I started throwing it. And I have still yet to catch a fish on it, but that doesn't mean I'm going to give up. But that's a different example. Zoom old monster has been around for a long time and it's caught thousands and thousands of fish. So I know that bait works. I just got to figure it out for myself. Oh, 
Oh man. <laughs> He almost wanted it bad enough. And there you have it. Another way you can work that spro rat. <laughs> work that little bugger just like a jerk bait. Nice one. We got some damage on his eyeball too. They're chunky though. They're feeding good. Good healthy fish. All right. Well, guys, really appreciate you watching. If you like my channel, go ahead and subscribe if you would. If you like this video, give her the thumbs up. Uh, leave your questions and comments in the comment section below. And I'll have a description of everything that I'm using today on the description below the video. So, anyways. Like I say, uh, always fish hard and get your worm wet. There's a lot nicer one on the Spro Rat. Come on up here, buddy. And he didn't even eat it. He just swiped at it. <laughs> Got you. There we go. Not too bad. Bigger than the ones I've been catching. Still pretty healthy fish though. I can dig it.